this video we're going to add like terms and apply the distributive property that should be a review for you this is the first page here's the second page we'll look at adding you know x squared and x what does that mean and um, then we'll add these and here's the fourth page this is the fourth page okay so starting on page one a plus 3b plus uh, 2a minus b, what does that mean? Well, whenever you see parentheses, it, it's a grouping symbol. It groups these quantities together. We can think of this as, you know, an apple and three bananas. And then we have another parentheses. It's kind of like another bag, say, two apples minus a banana. What happens when we put the two bags together? Well, you know, if you have parentheses like that, I mean, just because it, it means there's one bag there basically so you could think of this that there's a number one here and if you multiply the one in you'll have you know 1a plus uh, 3b and here we have you know one bag so it's like you could have the number one here if you multiply that in that's two apples uh, you know minus one banana say now if I add like terms you know to, to simplify this to write it with, with less ink I would put the apples together and I put the bananas together, you know, plus two bananas. Three bananas minus one banana, two bananas. Okay, so um, go ahead and do this one. X minus five plus two times X minus three. Press pause and do that. Okay, now I'll do it. Here, it's there's a parenthesis. It's like a bag. There's no number on the outside. So it's kind of like there's one bag here. So multiply one in, and that's, you know, one X minus five. Here there's a 2 beside the parentheses. That's kind of like saying there's two bags. There's two of these quantities. So multiply 2 in, we get 2x minus 6. Adding like terms, 1x and 2x is 3x. And we have negative 5 plus a negative 6. Whenever you see subtract, you can change it to plus negative. So that says negative 5 plus negative 6, which is you know 3x plus negative 11. Or simpler, because plus negative is the same as subtract, that's just 3x minus 11. Okay. So, you know, if we have uh, 4 times m plus 2p minus 2 times 3m plus b, you can think of this as 4 of these bags. And in each of these bags, there's a marker and 2 pens. Okay. In this bag, there are 3 markers and 1 pen. So, we're going to take 4 of these bags and then subtract 2 of these bags and see what's left. Well, if I take 4 of these bags, I'll have 4 markers plus 8 pens. Okay. If I subtract two of these bags, I have to multiply negative two in here and here. So I'm going to negative two times three is negative six m. Negative two times p is negative two p. So I'm going to subtract six markers and then subtract two pens. So if I have four markers and I subtract six markers, I'll have negative two markers. I'll be down two markers. I'll be in debt two markers. If I have eight pens and subtract two pens, I'll have six pens. Okay. So that's the answer. So press pause on the video and do this one. Now I'll do it. You have two of these bags, so you multiply two in, you get six minus two x minus three in here, multiply negative three in, get negative three x plus three, add like terms, and you can put the x's together first. That's plus negative, that's plus negative. Negative two x plus a negative three x. Two negatives and three negatives make five negatives, negative five x. 6 and 3 makes 9. So we have negative 5x plus 9. Now look at these. If we add, say, an apple and 6 cherries in one bag, minus this bag, which contains 3 apples and 2 cherries. Again, you know, this is like having one bag. So multiply the 1 in, and that's 1 apple plus 6 cherries. And then subtract this. It's like subtracting one of these bags. So I multiply negative 1 in here. So that's negative 3a minus 2c. Now when I add like terms and put the apples together, 1a minus 3a, I'll be in debt two apples. Put the cherries together, 6 cherries minus 2 cherries plus 4 cherries. So press pause in the video and simplify this expression. Now I'll do it. That's 5x minus this. Now this is one of these bags. So I multiply negative 1 in here. Negative 1 times x, negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 3 plus 3. And 5x minus 1x is 4x. So 4x plus 3 is the answer.
page 2. Let's simplify x squared plus x. What do you think that is? Press pause on the video and write what this would give us. x squared plus x. Do we think it is um, 2x? Or maybe it's 2x squared? And if it isn't, why not? What is it? And why is it that way? Can you explain what the answer is? Um, let's say if we let x be 10. Now what would x squared plus x be? Would it be 10 squared plus 10? Okay. So the question is, is that equal to 2x, which would be 2 times 10? Or is it equal to 2x squared, 2 times 10 squared, because see, x is 10, right? So you tell me, which one is it? Is it 2 times 10 or 2 times 10 squared? What's the correct answer? Can we see what's going on here? Well, 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 10 squared is 2 times 100, isn't it? which is 200. But we know 10 squared is 100 plus 10 gives 110. So 20 is not correct. 2x, 2 times 10. 200 is not correct. 2 times x squared. So the answer is 110, which of course is 100 is 110. So it's 110. 10 squared plus 10. You, you can't really make 2 of anything, can you? The same with this. x squared is simply not uh, the same number as x, so you can't put it together. I mean, if I had um, the number, if I was doing this, 10 plus 10, now that's the same number, that's equal to two tens. Similarly, x plus x would be 2x, wouldn't it? Two x's, right? Um, if you had 3 plus 3, what's that? Well, it's 6. It's 2 times 3, 2 threes. Now, if you have 10 squared plus 10 squared, that's a different thing. That's 100 plus 100, which is 200, or 2 times 10 squared. Just like x squared plus x squared would be 2 times x squared. These are like terms. These are like terms. When they have the same exponent, they're like terms. These, this, you know, you can add x's together, you can add x squareds, and indeed x cubed. If you had, say, 10 cubed plus 10 cubed, that would be, you know, a thousand. Ten cubed is a thousand plus a thousand, which would be two thousand or two times ten cubed. Two times a thousand, which is two thousand, right? Um, just like x cubed plus x cubed would be two x cubed. So if the x's have the same exponent, they are like terms. Otherwise, they are not. So the simplest way to write x squared plus x is is you can write this, you can write x squared plus x, and you're done. This is the answer. They're not like terms, you can't put them together. Just like if you had, um, what's the simplest way to write an apple plus a banana? Is it an apple banana? Is it two apples? Is it two bananas? No, no, no. It's just an apple plus a banana. They're not like terms, they can't be put together. Okay? So, if x's have the same power, they're like terms. So simplify this expression, press pause. We have 1x squared plus 2x squared, that's 3x squared. We have 2x and 5x, 7x. And we have 3 plus 4, sorry, 3 plus 1, which is 4, right? Check that, is that correct? I think so. And that's, that's as far as you can go. Because x squared is not like terms with x, and this is a number. So it's just like having, you know, three apples plus seven bananas plus four cherries. You can't simplify that any further. If they're not like terms, you're done. Or it's just like having, um, you know, three times 100 plus seven times 10 plus four. The answer is 300 plus 70 plus four, or 374. But you can't add the three and seven together. You can't add the four and seven together. You're just done. That's it. That's the answer. 307 d and 4, you can't put these digits together, just like you can't put these together. You're done, okay? So we know x's of different powers are not like terms when we're adding them. 
So we should be able to simplify this. So press pause and see if you can simplify it. Now I'll do it. Whenever you simplify something, you must follow the order of operations PEMDAS. And PEMDAS says we multiply. In this case, we don't have parent well, we have parentheses. We can't do anything in here. Okay, no, there's no like terms in here. Uh, we've no exponents is just on the x. We can't do anything with that. But we can multiply a negative three in, right? Because subtract three times this parenthesis, it's like plus negative three times everything, which gives negative three x squared. And then negative three times negative two x. Negative times negative positive six x, right? Negative three times negative one positive one. And we still have our five x squared plus. 3x minus 1, correct? Now put like terms together. 5x squared minus 3x squared. Right, these are like terms. That gives 2x squared. Uh, 3x and 6x, it gives 9x. And negative 1 plus 3 gives 2. And x squared and x are not like terms. And this number here, number 2, is not like terms either. So that's the final answer. So again, press pause and simplify this expression. Okay, now I'll do it. We have a parentheses, so there's a multiplication to be done. And how many how many bags is this? How many bags do we have here? You see, there's no number in front of here. Here we had the number three, so we multiplied it in. There's no number. Well, you think, well, there's one bag, okay? There's one, one of these uh, groups. And in fact, it's negative 1. So we can multiply negative 1 everywhere to get negative 1x squared. And then negative 1 times negative 4x. Negative times negative, positive, 4x, right? And what about negative 1 times negative 5? Plus 5, right? And then just bring these terms down. x squared plus 2, oh sorry, x cubed, x to the power of 3, plus 2x squared. And now add like terms. Well, I've got one x cubed term. I have two x squared terms. I have one x term and a number term. That's all. So the only ones I can put together are the x squareds. Put these together and they give me one x squared. Write everything else down. I have x cubed or x to the power of three plus one x squared plus four x plus five. And that's the final answer.